Only been a few hours, but it felt like days Only been days, but it felt like months Only gone for a year, only go like once Hey girl, let's jump right on into this frontal install. Now y'all, this wig has been run down and ran through. But one thing about her, her lace is clean and she's washed and detangled. So that's all you really need for a good wig to reinstall it as long as you got enough lace to make it stretch. Yeah, you good. You can see it's in a close-up, baby. She was ran through. But let's get into it. We start off with the extreme gel and I brush all of my hairs back okay i use gel because that's just what i feel works best for me and i really like this product it's not too cakey it's not too you know sticky it's just the right enough hold to push out my edges back next you can go in with any cap of your choice i'm not doing the ball cap method for this go round so really it don't matter any kind of nude cap any color cap that you feel like matches your skin tone and just push it all the way back and make sure it sit comfortably behind your ears and make sure you know it's snatching all of those hairs back Hope you know what you want. now it's time for you to go in with the makeup of your choice i'm using ruby kisses in the shade 15 and i'm going to take that makeup and just color my cap all around my head once the color is all filled i do go in and color my lace as well and seal it in with a little bit of free spray and just with a light coat of free spray on the lace then i went in to hot comb my lace all the way back this is a real key step before reinstalling that wig because you need to actually see what you're working with okay as you can see my lace is balding okay never too much on her but i did high comb everything back so that i can see what i'm working with then i remeasured it on top of my head and i bring the wig all the way down my forehead okay and i'm going to be creating my own hairline so you're going to see what i mean in a second when i say that but just make sure you bring that wig far down enough so that you can have enough to cut off once the wig is set it's time for me to go in with the glue i'm using the meltdown meltdown extreme hold lace glue today this is my go-to and it's very affordable and has a real good hold okay as you can see i'm f starting all the way down like i say we are make we're creating our own hairline so make sure you bring that glue really far down and i am trying to save my edges so i'm not getting no glue on my edges okay at all i'm balding too much and i love my wigs and i refuse to start wearing them so we're just going to try to save it as much as we can i do let the glue dry a little bit clear before going in with my second layer and i re repeat the same steps smooth it out with my finger and make sure it's all clear and laid out once the glue is all cleared it should look a little bit something like this in just real life clear okay clear as much as you can get yes i have a little white a little bit of white pieces but that's okay then i'm slowly bringing the wig down and i'm going to place the lace onto the glue okay i'm going to bring the lace a little bit farther down because you don't want to really put the lace where the lace is starting onto the glue because like i say we're creating our own hairline and if you put it where the lace is starting it just it just won't go it, you won't have enough room to create your own hairline so make sure you just bring it down farther enough so that you can have space and press that lace into the skin
once I'm done, I like to press the lace into my skin before going in with a comb or an edge brush and just pressing that comb into the lace and the skin as well. I just want to create a good melt. So this helps ensure that. Once all pressed down, it's time for me to go in with the cousins. I use spritz, Fantasia spritz, and got to be hand to hand in all my installs. I am going to switch it up because I know it has alcohol in it. Okay, girlies, I know, I know, I know. That's just what I have on hand, so we're working with what we got at the time. Press both of those products into the lace, just like we did with the, just like we did with the lace and the comb. You're pressing it in the exact same way and take your band, stretch it, and tie it. When it's all secured and placed right, make sure it's all placed right. Make sure you press that band into the skin and lace as well. While that dries, I'm going to detangle out all of the kinks and knots I have into my hair because it's time for me to go in and style. I like to clip off my hair and go in sections when hot combing and styling. I go section by section, okay? You go in with a wax stick. Yes, you do. And that spritz. But you are going to go real light with that wax stick. You don't need to be going extra, extra hard with the wax stick because it will most definitely make your hair oily and nobody wants that. A hot comb also goes hand in hand with a lace frontal, so make sure you know that. Just take your time with the hot comb, okay? That's my best advice to you is take it slowly and be very firm. Once you are hot combing, you need to be careful and make sure it's as hot as you can handle. Hot as you can handle. I'm going to say that. And everything I'm doing is really self-explanatory. And also, if you want that little slight bend, make sure you hold it. Okay, hold it for a few seconds to set that little bend. And it'll be, you know, flat as you want it. All right, I'm going to just let y'all look and watch the rest because, like I say, it's very self-explanatory, and anybody can do this. This is very easy. It's just all about the technique and you taking your time with trying to get your wig flat. This is the most important part. Maybe I love myself. I don't know. Leave me here, I'll fuck myself. She been in me, ride up myself. Don't need much, I'll fuck my wealth.
Now, once this all fled, baby, you didn't hit the jackpot, okay? I see the TikTok girl is going in with this doggone plastic clip or whatever, so I wanted to be like them and see how it worked. And it was all right. Like, it wasn't the hype. It's just cute. That's really it to it. Nothing too much. All it is is cute and for different for decorations <laughs> but it did hold the little slight beans so if you want to use it use it but you really don't need it baby all all the flatness gonna come from their wrist work and their high comb and them products Now, once it's all flat, it's time for you to go in and clip all of that hair and get it out of the way. And you can finally take the damn band off. Okay, now, it looks a little wrenchy. Okay, I get it. I get it. I understand it. Make sure you start to pull up those edges. Remember when I said we were creating our own hairline? I meant that. All that hair, all that excess lace, you're going to cut off and make zigzag lines. Okay, you're going to try to get as close as you can to the lace without cutting off all of the hairs. <laughs> Please make sure to go in a zigzag motion. That's the best way that I can tell you to get the most natural hairline as possible. Even though you're not using new lace, this is the way that we can mimic the lace being new. Okay, we're trying our best to use what we have. So this is like my third or fourth time installing this wig, y'all. So that's why the damn lace ball like it is. <laughs> and I'm being all the way 100. Like, let's just, you know. What happened? As you can see from the beginning, baby, she is down. So just continue to watch and trust the process. Once you got everything lifted, it's time for you to go in and take out all those little hairs that's just in the way. Pull it all off. Pluck it or just brush it out the way. Next, you're going to go in with your glue. Put a little bit on some type of product. I use the thing for my cap. I just spread the glue with the tail of the comb or edge brush and just spread it out evenly just like we did. With Laying down that glue the first time with our fingers. With every little piece you see, make sure you pull it up and add that glue and spread it out. It's now time for you to go in and just press that lace down into your skin. Every place you added that glue, you take the middle part of that rectal and you just press it down. Press it firmly and gently at the same time, if you get what I'm saying. Like apply enough pressure, but don't be hurting yourself. This is the best way I could tell you to get a fresh hairline look. Like, this is a very important step as well. Just make sure you take your time and press that shit in there. If you need to use your fingers or if you need to use anything, baby, press that shit down. If you feel like you need to go in and use a blow dryer, use it as well. If you feel like, you know, you didn't add enough or you wanted it to be extra dry before adding the next products, do what you feel is necessary for your hair, okay? No, there is no correct way to actually install a wig it's just all about what you like and what you really want to use you feel what i'm saying like the girls they get it get it now it's time for you to go in and color their lace this is my favorite part honestly i do use the shade 15 and i take a small brush and i just color it all in color it like i'm getting a coloring book just paint that lace <laughs>
once you finish coloring everything through it's time for you to go in and clean off the excess makeup and i use a little bit of green alcohol and just rub it across your face a lot of people don't use this they use other things look didn't i tell you we're using what we got that's what we got we're gonna use it and then we're going back in with the cousins and using that same technique of their finger method and i ain't gonna lie like make sure that your glue is dry before adding these products i didn't i didn't really wait but fuck it it still turned out bomb and all i did was just um go in and blow dry it like but it would be better if you could blow dry it right after you add the glue It's now time for the second melt. I go in with that same elastic band and just fold it in half and stretch it all the way through. And I sit that band right on top of that hairline. I make sure it's sitting firmly because I need that melt. I need that melt, honey, okay? And this is going to sit for a good 15 or 20 minutes, okay? And while you're sitting there, you ain't got to just sit there. Go back in with that hot comb and that wax stick. And then, uh, and it spritz, and it's time for you to get up in there again because flat, flat, we need the wig flat, flat, okay? So, yeah, I'm just going in and making sure I'm getting all of those flyaways, and I'm making sure that shit flat because, like I said, I need that wig flat, like y'all ass. Thank you. <laughs> Now, one thing I've learned over the years is make sure that we get flat, okay? I never played when it came to a hot comb. I never played, okay? I love this part. It's just, it's just, it just transformed. I just love this shit. Like, look at it. All seamless, all looking good. Don't play with them. What will you do? Will you just step back? Will you duck it out? Now, while you're also sitting, it's time for you to go in and style it. If you were doing any other styles, like flat iron or curls, you would obviously be curling at this point. But right here, I'm just going in and soaking the hair and trying to make sure all of the tangles are out. I did go in with some curling products and I went in with some heat protectant. I really wasn't thinking when I was making this video. You can obviously go in with a good, good curling pudding, but make sure you seal it in with a little bit of gel. If you really want to just use water and gel, that's perfect okay i end up doing it the next day and it lasted so well it wasn't poofy like the same extreme gel that i used and i showed y'all in the beginning that's what i used and it wasn't it didn't have a you know a, a sticky cast to it it wasn't too crunchy you know i don't like crunchy curls it was actually cute and it did what needed to be done be to the end. i just want to wish you my friend this is how much hair did come out of the hair while i was detangling not that much but it was like once i was done with the other side i did go in and cut the hair because i wanted it to be short but not too short okay i wanted it to still have a good enough length and gave me a little definition i love volume i love wigs with a lot of curls and full all the way to the bottom okay i don't like the skimpy wigs at the bottom so if i ever get a skimpy wig that's the norm couldn't it after i did me a little bit of face framing i did go in with the makeup again with the lighter shade and i just went down and crisped up that part 
this is the spray that i always use y'all okay right here i got in that mirror and i was not close up i was trying to record enough so that y'all could see and i really couldn't see so i fucked it up a little bit it wasn't a lot but it was a little bit and it was not as crispy as i would like it so to fix that girl all you gotta do is just add more makeup okay you gonna add a lot but you gotta keep adding it until you have enough of that makeup back onto that lace you basically colored the lace on accident if this end up happening to you so just make sure you just go back in and add more makeup Once you feel like you have enough makeup added, it is time for you to go back in. I did use a different comb. And as you can see right here, I'm looking at the mirror, baby. I got it. I got to look at the mirror. And yeah, it's way better. Way better, okay? It's more crisp and it actually look like a part. To seal all of that in, I go in with that got to be and just spray it all the way through and then blow dry it. <music> After cutting everything, making sure it's all flat and seamless, it's time for you to now reveal the lace, honey. Okay, and as you can see, she's melted. She's melted. She looks like a whole new hairline. I know she's bald. I actually could have went in and added some edges. But as you can see, my edges wasn't showing. Like, this this was just a one quick, quick one too that I could just throw on for Easter. So, I made sure I just covered all it and just used the front pieces. And it looked like a brand new wig, baby. You couldn't even tell. It looked like a closure, okay? You see how you finessed? Finessed the game. Finessed two times. What? What he say? <laughs> But yeah, girl, this look A and I loved it. Um, I am going to try to give y'all more actual newer wig um installs. I usually do installs on TikTok. Make sure you go and follow me on all of my socials. But yeah, I'm gonna come back with a better wig, better heat, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Alright, y'all. Bye.